multi-beam patch test comprises a number of lines over a well-defined target. And we use that to determine the, the fine misalignment between the survey sensors. This allows us to generate a highly accurate and calibrated data set. What we're doing here is we're uh, post-processing our multi-beam data to determine the, uh, the angle offsets uh, in the transducers in relation to the motion sensor. Uh, because even though we, we mount them on the transducer pole as accurately as possible, there's always slight differences to what we design them to be, to what they actually are. And the way we do this is by running a series of lines over a distinct feature that we can detect on the seafloor. So in this uh, graphic here we can see uh, the uh, feature in the, in the right hand side of the, the image and there's a series of lines that we'll run uh, and they're uh, over top of the object and just off to the side and that combination of lines allows us to uh, then determine what those biases are in uh, some other software. This is the, the feature here that's represented by this yellow slice and uh, by adjusting the slider bar, see how the feature will change. And that's relation to the number of seconds that we've put into the bottom there. This is an image of the patch test data without the angular biases applied. And this is the image with the angular biases applied. And you can clearly see the data has improved uh, quite significantly.